Do you have termites in your house but want to get rid of them as cheaply as humanly possible? Well, you have clicked on the right video. Today, I'm going to be doing that for this customer. I'm here doing a professional termite treatment. They are on a fixed income. So we're going to be doing what I call a spot treatment. It's not what I recommend if you want the best coverage for your home, but it is exactly what it sounds like. We're going to treat where this termite colony is coming into this person's house. I think the total of all the products I'm going to use today is probably less than $50. The first thing you need to know is the treatment we're doing is for subterranean termites. This is not for uh, drywood termites, for motion termites. These termites are coming out of the ground. The customer actually saw the termite swarmers flying out of their house last spring. It's actually the whole next spring. It's March right now. And they finally decided to call because they don't want the termites to come out of their house again. Uh, this person's retired on a fixed income. So I told them I can do it uh, pretty, pretty cheap and just get rid of the colony. These, <laughs> this house is like surrounded by these bushes that have like little poker seeds. Uh, so they've been the vein of my existence for the past hour or so. We're going to do two things. We're going to do a soil treatment and then we're going to do a spot treatment inside. Inside the house, um, I took some B-roll video for you to watch how I do it. Inside the house, you're going to need this. This is called Fuse Foam by CSI Pest. Just buy it online. You can get this for like $24 or something. I think I get it a little cheaper, but you're going to go inside. This product is a foam. You're going to squirt this product if you're seeing termite activity inside, wherever the termites are coming out of. This needs to be a void in the wood. This is a foam, right? So it expands uh, like 30 to one its size, but this needs to be treated in voids. You're seeing either the flying termites or the termite workers eating on the wood. This needs to be a wood treatment or a void treatment. Don't just like spray this on the baseboards. It needs to be inserted. Use this little tip here and insert it into a point, pull the trigger for a couple seconds, read the label on here. It's super, super straightforward, but this has the active ingredient fipronil and imidacloprid. Those two active ingredients, they have been for a long, long time, the best active ingredients to kill termite colonies, the whole colony guys. It's going to take multiple weeks for this process to work, but whenever the worker or reproductive termites come in contact with the imidacloprid and fipronil, it transfers throughout the whole colony. In theory, you could just do this, but you're already cutting a corner doing a spot treatment. I would go ahead and treat the soil as well. It's a really straightforward, simple process. The soil treatment, we're going to be using a product called Taurus SC, also by CSI Pest. This product, we're going to mix it with water. We're going to apply it to the soil, and that's also going to kill the subterranean termite colony. One of the same active ingredients, fipronil. That's going to spread throughout the colony in a matter of weeks. Let me show you what I've done. I've done all this beforehand, so I don't have to waste a ton of time showing you how to do it. It's just manual labor, pretty straightforward. But you can see it on the ground. There is a trench. This trench is um, about four inches wide and about six inches deep. You're going to make this trench just as I've done it around the exterior perimeter but just within 10 or 15 feet on each side of where you've seen the termite activity. This is why we call it a spot treatment. So the termites are in a colony system, right? For example, their colony is probably in the ground somewhere over here and they forage and make meandering spiderweb tunnels. And when they find a structure, they start to crawl up it. They make these tubes. We're trying to get rid of whatever colony has found this house. I think I've probably trenched about 25 feet or so on each side of where the termite activity was. The termite activity inside this person's house was exactly right here. So we've got all this trenched, we've got all that trenched. I'm going to mix it in my backpack sprayer here. Uh, the Taurus SC is just mixed with water. I'll show you the exact dilution to use to mix it. We're going to apply it to the soil and then we're gonna cover it up and spray the, spray the top of the soil. The termite colony is not active inside this person's house. I haven't seen any live termites, but termites colonies, they don't just magically disappear. They come back every single year. Termite colonies live for many, many years. For the soil treatment, you need to read the Taurus SC label. We're going to apply four gallons of solution to 10 linear feet. I've got approximately 20 to 25 linear feet. We're gonna use a little more than eight gallons of solution. Again, I'm gonna throw out some numbers, but just read the label, do however much you're treating. If you see multiple termite tubes coming out of the ground, or if you've got them in multiple places, you're gonna to need to treat a larger area. Oh, and this trench, I just dug it with like a pickaxe. So just dig it with a shovel, pickaxe. The point of this trench is to keep the product from running off. Give it time to seep into the ground where it belongs. I'm going to be mixing the Taurus SC at a 0.1 
two dilution percentage. So that means for every four gallons of water, I'm going to put in approximately seven fluid ounces of Taurus SC. Seven fluid ounces of Taurus SC. Let me see what the math was on there. It's like, it's like $16 worth of product and the water is basically free. I'm gonna be using a backpack sprayer to apply. You can use honestly like a bucket or like a one gallon sprayer, but the bigger the bucket, the quicker it's gonna go. So I'm gonna be, be doing two applications, um, seven fluid ounces into the four gallon sprayer. We're going to mix it up and then I'm going to apply it to the ground. We're going to do that again and that's gonna be it. Fill up your water first. Um, technically what you're supposed to do is do halfway water, then put in the concentrate and then, and then fill the rest up with water. I'm kind of lazy. So I didn't do that today. Measuring portion here and then pour in your fluid ounces into the water. So pour them in first and then we'll mix it up. In a normal preventative termite treatment, TARS is going to call for 0.06 dilution percentage, which is just half of 0.12 dilution percentage. Oh, and, and everyone please use proper PPE, gloves, boots, long sleeve. So I'm just going to empty four gallons into the ground here over an approximate 10 foot range. So I'll let you watch me do that. I'll talk a little bit. Oh my gosh. There's so many sticky burrs. Yes. Ridiculous. No. <laughs> so you want to make sure the product is mixed. So while it's on your back, shake it, shake it up, shake it up, shake it up. If you're using like a bucket, stir it with a stick. Yeah, you have to properly mix the product. If you don't properly mix the product, it's not going to work properly, believe it or not. So here's what we got. Uh, the product is just coming out. I'm gonna treat this whole wall here. I'm just letting it pour into the ground. This should take a couple minutes, but it's just going to thoroughly saturate the ground. That's what we're looking to do. So, so the Taurus SC particles, they fall into the soil. The goal of the spot treatment, to be clear, is to directly treat the termite colony Normally a preventative termite treatment, you're going to be treating a lot of soil that may not come in contact with the colony immediately, but that's not the goal of today's treatment. The goal of today's treatment is to treat the foraging worker termites immediately because uh, they're attacking this person's house and we don't want that anymore. Let me show you a little closer what's going on here. The product is going into the ground in this trench I dug. It's going to spread out into the soil. We're on a hill here, so I'm just like treating it up there and letting it slowly kind of seep into the soil as it goes. Honestly, I don't think there's a need to show you me doing it all again. But just to recap, this is a spot treatment. So you have termites in your house. You don't want to hire a professional. You want to do it quickly and efficiently. Then this is what I do. I'm doing this today for this person's house because they requested the cheapest treatment possible. This is going to take care of the termites. Treat inside with a fused foam and then use the Taurus SC right here. Mix it with water, apply it to the soil. That's going to take care of the subterranean termites. If you appreciated all of this free, totally free information I gave you, I would really, really appreciate it if you destroyed the like button, subscribe to my channel. Give me a comment and let me know if you have any questions. You know, I'm, I'm happy to answer questions. I'm always in the comments answering questions. So I'll show you how to do this real quickly before we go. The last thing you want to do is we're going to treat just the top layer of soil. So we're making sure there's no, you know, voids left for the termites to crawl through. So all you do, I mean, you can kick it back over with your boot. Or you can use a shovel, but just kick back over that dirt right over the treated area. Come back over with something you're spraying with, like a backpack sprayer or even just another bucket of water and treat that soil right there just so you have a, a barrier, just so there's not like a you know, a potential path for the termites to go over the, the treatment. So that's it guys. I'll uh, see you next time. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up treating this house. No need to bore you with anything else. So peace. I'm not crazy. This is just for the thumbnail.